With a fixation on autonomous driving, advanced propulsion systems, and renewable energy, the automotive world almost missed it. Missed what, you say? The key to the future of the automobile, data. Or more accurately, the ability to move and share data at very high speeds. The degree to which future cars won't crash, won't pollute, and won't contribute to congestion will largely be determined by how much data can move about the car and be shared with surrounding vehicles. We're really moving into exploding levels of, of data exchange and data speeds. So you've got emissions control, you've got active safety systems now, you've got infotainment space, and they're just gonna get faster and there's just gonna be more, more data required by automobile manufacturers and consumers around the world. The average car today is basically a giant computer. It has more than 50 microprocessors and more than 100 million lines of code. Delphi alone ships more than 20 billion lines of code daily. Complex as that sounds, in some ways, the average car today has an antiquated nervous system. We are reaching a limit to what the automobile can do without massive changes to the car's computing power. Electrical architecture is, is underneath the skin of the vehicle. Consumers are completely unaware that it's there, but underneath that, you've got a mile and a half of cabling. They're very highly engineered because they have to last 10 years. They have to last in the uh, the very tough automotive space. But then you start to add data speeds in there and a lot of data exchange. So it's like you, you sense or you see or you feel or you hear with your body. The same thing happens on a car, only it's happening in, in incredibly fast speeds and much faster speeds tomorrow than we have today. Decisions will be made by multi-domain controllers. Let's call them Uber brains. Instead of more and more processors only concerned about one or two functions in the car. We hit the market with this next year, it's called a multi-domain controller. The product we launch with next year will be one of the most sophisticated pieces of processing that's ever been on a vehicle, ever. I mean, it's gonna have a tremendous amount of computational power, an ability to be upgradable, to future-proof your architecture, ability to process everything that will be an input, decide what to do with all that information, and then send the signals back out. But you have to do that in real time. I mean, nanoseconds count when you're in a safety situation and that, therefore you're going to end up with higher and higher data exchange speeds. Very sophisticated processing to make that happen in that Uber brain. This will lead to a new vehicle architecture. All the wires, connectors, sensors and controllers under the sheet metal. We're talking about electrical architectures and, uh, and how sophisticated they're going to be going forward. And I think Delphi is incredibly well advantaged for that. But at the end of the day, what the consumer sees out of this, what society will see around the world, is they'll see vehicles that have the ability to have 50% fewer emissions, 100% better fuel economy. You'll have vehicles that'll have 50% fewer accidents and fatalities. And the connectivity part of this, they're bringing the digital lifestyle into the cockpit, 1,000%, maybe 10,000% more connectivity than what you have today. And it's all gonna be enabled by the sophisticated high-speed data electrical architectures of the future.